So let's now practice a CPR for the amygdala exercise that utilizes that breathe in, breathe in, breathe out experience that we just practiced, plus the havening touch. Again, the idea being that this creates a new sense of psychological safety for our mind and body system that allows us to start to intentionally shift and deepen our awareness with ourselves without accidentally creating that connection to a felt sense of, oh, no, I don't feel safe being calm. Or if we have learned to breathe in a more shallow manner, accidentally engaging and causing some increased anxiety. So the exercise itself is exactly this. We're going to practice breathing in breathing in and then breathing out. And I have some images that I'll walk us through. And then as we're doing that, we will be applying the havening touch the entire time. Now I'd like to invite everybody to start with a simple check-in to your mind-body system and notice how you feel right here, right now. We're sensing in that first part of the CPR protocol sense in and now on the emotions thermometer just take a note of where you rank on this scale we're working with what we call our state or ambient energy in the moment there might be a little bit of brain fog I notice you've been sitting for a little while just checking in and noticing how you're feeling right here, right now. I'll invite you to begin to apply that soothing, havening touch. Palms, arms, and face in any order. Welcoming the system to start Exploring the possibility of a new electrochemical shift. Now, we're going to practice that side breath. It's as though we're breathing, we're going to smell a flower, smell a flower, and then blow some bubbles. And if you work with kiddos or teens or adolescents, that might be a familiar analogy for you. We're smelling flowers, smelling flowers, and blowing bubbles as the whole time we're continuing that havening touch. Let's breathe in, breathe in, and release. Breathing in, breathing in, and release. Breathing in, breathing in, and release. Breathing in, breathing in, and release. And one more. Oh, not one more. Okay, coming back to this present moment. Apologies for that. Just invite yourself to turn inward once again. And let's check back in on that emotions thermometer and notice if anything has shifted or changed and how you're feeling now. It's a very simple version of the creating personal resilience for the amygdala journey, but it's creating space for two critical elements, oxygen, as well as soothing the brain. And I'm going to actually, I just had a thought come to mind and Tabby, if you could answer this in the chat box, if I send these handouts, can we post them with the slides? I'm happy to give an actual printable version of the handouts from this workshop if that's a PESI approved. Just if you could let us know in the chat box, then um, I will send those over once the workshop's done. 
very happy to do that. We're extremely shareware. Uh, again, as long as the citations are on and the book citations on there already. Okay, I see that was a good. Okay, that 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 got some hits. <laughs> All right. So, Davi, I will send those over to you, um, and then they will go wherever the slides are. <laughs> 